Hello, and welcome inside Cincinnati's Music Hall. I'm Holly Bryans Ragusa and a board member for the Friends of Music Hall and someone who loves the history of this organ and this building. Right now, we are in the ballroom of Cincinnati's Music Hall on the second floor. And this ballroom was opened in 1928 and hosted many dances, concerts, and big parties over the years. This mighty Wurlitzer organ was built in December of 1927, so they're around the same age. The Friends of Music Hall still host several concerts a year here in this ballroom. The mighty Wurlitzer. It almost sounds like a superhero, and it is to music lovers across the country. It is a theater organ, and over 2,000 of them were built 100 years ago, but only 40 remain in working condition today. We're proud to share with you this mighty Wurlitzer organ, which has a permanent home here in the ballroom in Cincinnati's Music Hall. We are grateful to Ron Waymeyer, who rebuilt and installed this organ here 13 years ago in the ballroom. He is the perfect person to show you this instrument, sometimes called the One Man Orchestra. We also want to thank Trent Sims, an incredibly talented theater organist, who will pull out all the stops as he plays It's a Small World.
this is a typical action for the organ and as a depress this it takes this magnet here there's a magnet under each percussion and each pipe that uh, is activated by the relay here <clears throat> going over here we can see some of the percussion here Trent we play the uh, sleigh bells these are the tuned sleigh bells all this is played directly <laughs> How about the uh, cathedral chimes? And above that we have the marimba. Those are all rosewood bars. And there's 49 of those beautiful things. Everything is just like the orchestra, not a, made for the world, sir. All right, and this is the toy counter up here. We have the auto horn, klaxon. And then we have the bird that you heard on the one song. And then we have the drums and cymbals. Snare drum. And then right above there we can see the glockenspiel. Now we'll go up on top and then we'll take a look at some of the other percussions, which is easier seeing them back there. Just be careful. These open and close, and since the pipes are always at the same volume, the same pressure, this is what we need to make it louder and softer. It's like a volume control. So you can see how they slowly open in intervals. That's with his uh, right foot on the swell shoes, which you saw if you took the picture of him playing with the bait. The, the, uh, console. Then these are all the different ranks of pipes. There's a vox humana and saxophone. Just about everything in the orchestra is represented here. The brass trumpets, which Wurlitzer was famous for. And at one time they were going for like $15,000 a rank. All these are original to the Albi organ and they all were, take, were taken back to my shop and completely cleaned up and voiced. And now if we look straight directly over there, we can see the Chinese gong. Can you hit the Chinese gong a couple times? Then we have the bass drum and reiterating cymbals. <laughs> and then we have the surf coming in. Those are those plates on the right, top right. And that's wind going over the metal. It makes it sound like surf. Sounds like the ocean coming in, and that was for the old silent films, you know. They had to actually have those because it wasn't until about 1930 that sound films really started to come through. And then, of course, we've got the sand block. Sounds like the old... Sounds like two pieces of sand going together. And over here on the left are the big tibia pipes, and they go down to 16 feet, and they shake the whole chambers, and there's a backbone of the organ pedals. We would play a tune in here, but it's just too loud for the average person, and it, uh, it doesn't record that well because it's too loud. All these walls in here, the, this wall here is actually a foot thick, three-quarter plywood, and anything to make it stable. Otherwise, it sh shakes the whole organ. The organ stays in tune so well, since the temperature is maintained on its own HVA system, 70 degrees and 40% humidity. So it's got a perfect home here. Okay, this is the main chamber here, <clears throat> which has the big bass pedals, a 16-foot diaphone, which sounds like this, lowest pipe on the organ. And back up above, you see these long, skinny pipes. They're eight feet long. They're the cello in the orchestra. This sounds like a regular hand-played cello. And up here is our classical division. We put that in here so we could play Bach and just gold uh, church hymns. Can you play a little bit on the uh, classical division while we're up here with a mic? Great. All the wind comes from a 15 horsepower blower which is the next floor up, the third floor. And that provides all the wind pressure for this. And this is a big blower. This is a 15 horsepower blower. 
Here's why I had it all rebuilt by uh, Matlock Electric here in Cincinnati. They did a wonderful job. Puts out 5,000 cubic feet of air a minute. Thank you, Ron and Trent. What a wonderful day to be with the mighty Wurlitzer and to see inside the organ chamber. We hope someday soon you and your family or classmates can join us here in the ballroom in Cincinnati's Music Hall and hear the mighty Wurlitzer yourself. Thank you for being with us today.